Hey everyone, welcome to another Airbrush Asylum pre-live video. Today I just want to show you the completed computer case that we've been working on, so the one with the jellyfish artwork. Um, it's all done, I'm just about to take it to the uh, painter so he can get it two-pack cleared for me. So I just thought perfect timing before I take it off to him to get it all cleared over and sealed up, I thought I'll show you guys how it turned out. So let's uh, check that out now. Let me just spin this camera around. Okay, here we have it. So a few of you may have already checked this out on some of our social media pages. So I just thought a video will show you a bit more detail and show you exactly how it turned out. So if you haven't seen the other videos, check them out. There is also a raw video about how I um, did a sample panel of this style of uh, jellyfish. So the colours that I've used, there's actually a fluoro orange in there and some violet. So that was instructed by the customer. She wanted those colours and um, hopefully they'll shine up with the black light. You can see I've also added some of the sort of waterscape background in there. So this is all over a house of colour marine blue. And you can see the detail in the jellyfish. So I added all the texture as well. So the first step was to do it all in white after I'd drawn it out. And then um, I just, so the whole thing's done freehand. I uh, just used a few reference images. And then once I'd done all the white, I added in the fluoro orange, then shaded in that sort of pinkish colour. Then once I'd done that, I used a thinned out violet just to deepen all my shadows. And then once I'd been happy with that, I went back to my white, did some highlights and more texture, and then came in with a thinned out black. So that black was mixed up with the transparent base and reducer. And then moving along here, you can see the tentacles go from being organic into this biomechanical sort of stinger. So with that I used like a grey first um, as well as blue, white and a thinned out black to get that chrome effect. So I may actually do a tutorial on how to create chrome. And then obviously you go back in with your white highlights as well. There's some more seascape along the bottom here. And I also added in a few more jellyfish. So just some quick ones using white, a darker blue to shade and some of that uh, green as well, just to get that shine from the water level. You can see these two little guys as well. And then the water, that was all just done, started with white, worked in some um, darker blue as well. Don't know how that's coming up on camera, but I also used a green, just to give it that real beautiful watercolor and then um, work back in with my hot white highlights. So again, no stencil with this, just all freehand, just to give that shine coming through the top of the ocean. So there you have it. So she's all ready. All I gotta do now is I'm gonna disassemble the case. I'm gonna spray a bit of um, Intercoat Clear on there, just the SG100 by House of Color, just to seal it especially because these are Trident water-based paints, so I like to seal it before my painter applies the two-pack clear. But um, hopefully you like the end result. The customer is very happy, so that's the main thing. So I reckon uh, that gives you a good little look. So let me just spin this camera around. So there you have it. Thanks again for joining us. Just a quick video today to show you guys what we're up to. Uh, next week we should be starting some other artwork as well as I am going to start editing um, some step-by-steps that I've got filmed, but I need to get them edited, do the voiceover and uh, up to upload those as well so you guys can see some more step-by-steps um, because it's been more about uh, sort of pre-live videos recently just showing you what's going on in the shop especially because we just had Drew Blair out um, running his Golden Eagle course but hopefully you find these videos enjoyable and entertaining and also helpful and hopefully they do inspire you in some way to grab that airbrush and do some more painting so until next week 
If you're new to this channel, we'd love to have you as part of our community. Uh, hit subscribe and tap on that bell icon that will notify you every time we do any new content. And until next time, keep painting and we will see you again very soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now.